got God. I've got God. I've got God. We should be happier. We're gonna play something. Read something. You should be happier. Hi, Josh Yada here. Thank you so much for giving me your trust and some of your time. In this piece, I want to refresh you on how to download and install Oracle VirtualBox. In this innovative generation, one operating system is not enough. That's why Oracle VirtualBox gives you the opportunity to have many computers on one computer. That will help you to do your labs and sections if you are a computer science student and if you are a teacher it will help you do the demonstration on the virtual box and one advantage of that is if a program damages your operating system it will not affect the primary computer see that so there are many advantages of running a virtual machine on your primary computer. What you need is make sure that you have good storage space on your computer. This Windows computer has one terabyte of SSD and have a good amount of RAM. I installed 24 gigabytes of RAM on this computer, you see that. So with those two, your virtual machine on Oracle Virtual Box, we run seamlessly. The internet works, the sound works and in the future you when you have your virtual machine on oracle vm you don't have to buy license so let's go to the internet you need good internet and a browser to download and install the oracle virtual box the packages and the extension. Let's, I'm using Edge. So we go. We click. The latest release is version. 7.0.6 so we click here to see the options for windows this is the one to download and install for mac os solaris 11 linux these are the ones to download and install i'm using windows so we use we will click this so that's going let's go back we need to download and also run the extension pack after we successfully install the virtual box packages so we click this again make sure you pick the one for your platform we'll pick this one Now, the conventional thing to do here is to open this virtual box and run it. If we run it, it will require us to download and install the PY32 API. Let's run this first for you to see that. We'll click next. 
I will leave it in this location. So we click. We say yes. It's telling you that your internet may be, your internet will be temporarily disconnected because it has to install the network driver for the internet to work. So we say yes. See this? See, it requires the Python core package and the Win32 API bindings to be installed first. So we will say, we will cancel the installation. We we'll say no. And here we say yes. We click finish. We return to the internet. First of all, also go to command line. Run as administrator. Say yes. Then run Python dash dash version and press enter. See, it says Python was not found. So we close, we just say cancel this. So we go back to the internet and install the latest version of Python. So we click this and we Download the latest version. Any operating system you are using, it will automatically detect it. Again, I'm using Windows to do this demonstration, so I will click this. So we'll go to downloads. We right click to run as administrator. We say yes. I will add python.exec to part. So I like to do this too. So we click this. We close this. We go back to the command line. We run as admin. We say yes. Again, we run see that it tells you that there is Python now and it tells you the latest release or the release you have. Now, the next thing to do is to install the Win32 API binding. So we do pi pip 
install py win touch to and we press enter this pip installer that we use to install the pywin32 api is available pip means preferred installer program so there is a new version of pip which is version 23.0 so we run this just to install the new version of PIP. We copy from here. Command C. If you are using Mac, you do Command C. If you are using Windows, you do Control C. The same works with linux or you do shift control c to copy for linux you do shift control v to paste but if you want to do control c and control v to copy and paste on a linux you have to change it there's a video i have that shows you how to do that may you check it out please so we do control V and press enter. This will update the the pip C first of all it uninstalled the old version of pip. See now, it successfully installed the new version of PIP 23.0. So we close this and we return now to install the Oracle VM virtual box. We say yes. We click next. We leave it in this location. You can change it if you want. You just click this browse and change it and click next. Again, the network, the network driver will be installed for you to have internet when you have created your virtual machine. So we say yes and we click install you see that the python binding warning is taken care of because we have installed python and we have installed the win32 api so we say install see that See, it's finished. We click finish. See how beautiful it is. Now, we need to install the extension pack. We click this and click extensions. Click the plus sign that says install. Make sure you download and run the same version you see the extension pack is version 7.0.6. We click install. It will ask us to agree to the 
terms and conditions. We just drag this down and click agree. See, it's installing it. See, it's successfully installed. Let's run. a Mac virtual machine that I have. Yes. So here we click Start. is running nice Ooh. we can click this out We enter password now. See that. Let's try the internet to see. see that the internet is working one thing to do is go to system preferences this is mac os 12 is the Monterey. We will have to check if we can create Mac OS 13 the Ventura. That will be for another video. See the sound is working. Let me just see again.
Hello and welcome to this podcast from the BBC World Service. Please let us know what you think and tell other people about us on social media. Podcasts from the BBC World Service are supported by advertising. See you, Dad. Out of the turmoil of Victorian London, seven men emerge from the shadows. They each have the same target. Before, when you install Mac on Oracle VM VirtualBox, the sound does not work. I will do a short video later to show you how to enable the sound. That way, when you install any Mac on Oracle VM VirtualBox, the sound will work. Just like we are seeing it, we are hearing it here. The sound works, the internet works. This will let you to do your lab, your project until you can get an actual Mac. Apple allow you to to run virtual Mac on Windows for non personal commercial use. So you are allowed to do that. Now let's log off to see the other aspect of this. Let's shut down to see the other aspect of this Oracle VM virtual box. May you subscribe, please give feedback, leave helpful tips about Oracle VM virtual box in the comment please did you successfully install this oracle vm virtual box on which computer did you install it on we did this installation on windows you can install it on windows linux and mac share which on which computer you installed it on, please. And may you share which part of the world you are from, please. So let's say we want to create a new virtual machine. We'll click this. we give it a name. We'll pick the image later. What I want you to see is that the type Windows is showing here, right? This version of Oracle VirtualBox, there's option for Windows 11. Let me move this Camtasia up. See, there's Windows 11 64-bit. Then there's also Windows 2022 64-bit. Then other Windows. That's one difference. Then when we click Next, we click Next again. We just click Next. Finish. When we open the settings, you can see here that Let's see system. You can see TPM2 is available, which is what you will need to run Windows 11 just to enhance the security. Even the secure boot, if we add Windows ISO image now, it will let us click Enable Secure Boot. this video we looked at how to download and install oracle vm virtual box and we use a windows computer to do the demonstration that's it again i will appreciate 
if you subscribe, give feedback, share any tip that will help us use Oracle Virtual Box better in the comment. Again, thank you for your trust and your time. See you in another such helpful video.